the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 34 I am RAW. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner, the instrument would like to know if two short exercise periods a day would be better for her than one long one. I am RAW. This is incorrect. The proper configuration of the physical complex exercising during the three-month period wherein the instrument is vulnerable to physical complex distortion intensifications, needs the strengthening of the physical complex. This may appropriately be seen to be one major period of the exercising followed late in your diurnal cycle before the evening meditation by an exercise period approximately one half the length of the first. This will be seen to be wearing upon the instrument. However, it will have the effect of strengthening the physical complex and lessening the vulnerability which might be taken advantage of. Questioner, thank you very much. We'll start general questioning now. You stated at an earlier time that penetration of the 8th level or intelligent infinity level allows a mind-body-spirit complex to be harvested if it wishes at any time space during the cycle. When this penetration of the 8th level occurs what does the entity who penetrates this experience? Can you tell me this? I am raw. The experience of each entity entity's unique in perception of intelligent infinity. Perceptions range from a limitless joy to a strong dedication to service to others while in the incarnated state. The entity which reaches intelligent infinity most often will perceive this experience as one of unspeakable profundity. However, it is not usual for the entity to immediately desire the cessation of the incarnation. Rather the desire to communicate or use this experience to aid others is extremely strong. Questioner, is it possible for you to tell me what I experienced? around 1964 I believe it was, when in meditation I became aware of what I would consider to be a different density and different planet, and seemed to experience moving on to that planet. Is it possible for you to tell me what experience that was? I am raw. We see some harm in full disclosure due to infringement. We content ourselves with suggesting that this entity, which is not readily able to subject itself to the process of hypnotic regression instigated by others, nevertheless, has had its opportunities for understanding of its beingness. Questioner, thank you. Would you define karma? I am raw. Our understanding of karma is that which may be called inertia. Those actions which are put into motion will continue using the ways of balancing until such time as the controlling or higher principle which you may liken unto your breaking or stopping is invoked. This stoppage of the inertia of action may be called forgiveness. These two concepts are inseparable. Questioner, if an entity develops what is called a karma in an incarnation, is there then programming that sometimes occurs so that he will experience catalyst that will enable him to get to a point of forgiveness thereby alleviating the karma? I am raw. This is, in general, correct. However, both self and any involved other self may, at any time through the process of understanding, acceptance, and forgiveness ameliorate these patterns. This is true at any point in an incarnative pattern. Thus one who has set in motion an action may forgive itself and never again make that error. This also breaks or stops what you call karma. Questioner, thank you. Can you give me examples of catalytic action to produce learning under each of the following headings from the last session we had? Can you give me an example of the self unmanifested producing learning catalyst? I am raw. We observed your interest in the catalyst of pain. This experience is most common among your entities. The pain may be of the physical complex. More often it is of the mental and emotional complex. In some few cases the pain is spiritual in complex nature. This creates a potential for learning. The lessons to be learned vary. Almost always these lessons include patience, tolerance, and the ability for the light touch. Very often the catalyst for emotional pain, whether it be the death of the physical complex of one other self which is loved or some other seeming loss, will simply result in the opposite, in a bitterness, an impatience, a souring. This is catalyst which has gone awry. In these cases, then, there will be additional catalyst provided to offer the unmanifested self further opportunities for discovering the self as all-sufficient creator containing all that there is and full of joy. Questioner, do what we call contagious diseases play any part in this process with respect to the unmanifested self? I am raw. These so-called contagious diseases are those entities of second density which offer an opportunity for this type of catalyst. If this catalyst is unneeded, then these second density creatures, as you would call them, 
do not have an effect in each of these generalizations you may please note that there are anomalies so that we cannot speak to every circumstance but only to the general run or way of things as you experience them. Questioner, what part do what we call birth defects play in this process? I am raw. This is a portion of the programming of the mind-body complex totality manifested in the mind-body spirit of third density. These defects are planned as limitations which are part of the experience intended by the entity totality complex. This includes genetic predispositions, as you may call them. Questioner, thank you. Would you give me the same type of information about the self in relation to the societal self? I am raw. The unmanifested self may find its lessons those which develop any of the energy and flux centers of the mind-body-spirit complex. The societal and self-interactions most often concentrate upon the second and third energy centers. Thus those most active in attempting to remake or alter the society are those working from feelings of being correct personally or of having answers which will put power in a more correct configuration. This may be seen to be of a full travel from negative to positive and orientation. Either will activate the energy ray centers. There are some few whose desires to aid society are of a green ray nature or above. These entities, however, are few due to the understanding, may we say, a fourth ray that universal love freely given is more to be desired than principalities or even the rearrangement of peoples or political structures. Questioner, if an entity were to be strongly biased toward positive societal effects, what would this do to his yellow ray in the aura as opposed to an entity who wanted to create an empire of society and govern it with an iron fist? What would be the difference in the yellow ray activity of these two entities? I am raw. Let us take two such positively oriented active souls no longer in your physical time space. The one known as Albert, who went into a strange and, to it, a barbaric society in order that it might heal. This entity was able to mobilize great amounts of energy and what you call money. This entity spent much green ray energy both as a healer and as a lover of your instrument known as the organ. This entity's yellow ray was bright and crystallized by the efforts needed to procure the funds to promulgate its efforts. However, the green and blue rays were of a toweringly brilliant nature as well. The higher levels, as you may call them, being activated. The low, as you may call them, energy points remain, in a balanced being, quite, quite bright. The other example is the entity, Martin. This entity dealt in a great degree with rather negative orange ray and yellow ray vibratory patterns. However, this entity was able to keep open the green ray energy and due to the severity of its testing, if anything, this entity may be seen to have polarized more towards the positive due to its fidelity to service to others in the face of great catalyst. Questioner, could you give me the last names of Albert and Martin? I am raw. These entities are known to you as Albert Schweitzer and Martin Luther King. Questioner, I thought that that was correct, but I wasn't sure. Can you give me the same type of information that we have been getting here with respect to the unmanifested self interacting between self and gadgets, toys, etc.? Inventions. I am raw. In this particular instance we again concentrate for the most part in the orange and in the yellow energy centers. In a negative sense many of the gadgets among your peoples, that is what you call your communication devices and other distractions such as the less competitive games, may be seen to have the distortion of keeping the mind-body-spirit complex inactivated so that yellow and orange ray activity is much weakened thus carefully decreasing the possibility of eventual green ray activation. Others of your gadgets may be seen to be tools whereby the entity explores the capabilities of its physical or mental complexes and in some few cases, the spiritual complex thus activating the orange ray in what you call your team's sports and in other gadgets such as your modes of transport. These may be seen to be ways of investigating the feelings of power. More especially, power over others or a group power over another group of other selves. Questioner, what is the general overall effect of television on our society with respect to this catalyst? I am raw. Without ignoring the green ray attempts of many to communicate via this medium such information, truth, and beauty as may be helpful, we must suggest that the sum effect of this gadget is that of distraction and sleep. Questioner, can you give me the same type of information that we've been working on now with respect to the self-relationship with war and rumors of war? I am raw. You may see this in relationship to your gadgets. This war and self-relationship is a fundamental perception of the maturing entity. There is a great chance to accelerate in whatever direction is desired. One may polarize negatively by assuming bellicose attitudes for whatever reason. One may find oneself in the situation of war and polarize somewhat towards the positive activating orange 
yellow, and then green by heroic, if you may call them this, actions taken to preserve the mind-body-spirit complexes of other selves. Finally, one may polarize very strongly third ray by expressing the principle of universal love at the total expense of any distortion towards involvement in bellicose actions. In this way the entity may become a conscious being in a very brief span of your time-space. This may be seen to be what you would call a traumatic progression. It is to be noted that among your entities a large percentage of all progression has as catalyst. Trauma. This should be fourth ray. Raw corrected the mistake in the next answer. Questioner, you just used the term third ray in that statement. Was that the term you meant to use? I am raw. We intended the green ray. Our difficulty lies in our perception of red ray and violet ray as fixed. Thus the inner rays are those which are varying and are to be observed as those indications of seniority in the attempts to form and harvest. Questioner, would the red ray, an intense red ray, then be used as an index for seniority? the seniority system of incarnation, as well as the intense violet ray, I am raw. This is partially correct. In the graduation or harvesting to fourth density positive, the red ray is seen only as that, which being activated, is the basis for all that occurs in vibratory levels, the sum of this being violet ray energy. This violet ray is the only consideration for fourth density positive. In assessing the harvestable fourth density negative, the intensity of the red as well as the orange and the yellow rays is looked upon quite carefully as a great deal of stamina and energy of this type is necessary for the negative progression, it being extremely difficult to open the gateway to intelligent infinity from the solar plexus center. This is necessary for harvest in fourth density negative. Questioner, is it possible for you to use as an example our general pattern and tell me the effect that war had on him in his development? I am raw. This will be the last full question of this working. The one of whom you speak, known as George, was one in whom the programming of previous incarnations had created a pattern or inertia which was irresistible in its incarnation in your time space. This entity was of a strong yellow ray activation with frequent green ray openings and occasional blue ray openings. However, it did not find itself able to break the mold of previous traumatic experiences of a bellicose nature. This entity polarized somewhat towards the positive in its incarnation due to its singleness of belief in truth and beauty. This entity was quite sensitive. It felt a great honor duty to the preservation of that which was felt by the entity to be true, beautiful, and in need of defense. This entity perceived itself as a gallant figure. It polarized somewhat towards the negative in its lack of understanding the green ray it carried with it, rejecting the forgiveness principle which is implicit in universal love. The sum total of this incarnation vibrationally was a slight increase in positive polarity but a decrease in harvestability due to the rejection of the law or way of responsibility. That is, seeing universal love, yet still it fought on. Questioner, do we have enough time for me to ask if the death, almost immediately after the cessation of the war of this entity could that have been so that it could be immediately reincarnated to possibly make harvest? I am raw. This is precisely correct. Questioner, thank you. Then I will just ask if there is anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact? I am raw. All is well. We leave you, my friends in the love and the light of the one which is all in all. I leave you in an everlasting peace. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai. And of session 34.